doing a great job with him. And it's really interesting because Jalen is still a freshman. The fact that he had opportunity to come in and get 15 spring practices, go through summer school, um, you know, and now transition now, it's expedited his process a little bit just because he's been here, he's been around us, you know, but he just graduated in May. And so it's, it's like really, yeah, he's a young guy, you know. I mean, shoot, all of those guys are young, and it's been really great because Jalen and some of these other guys are so raw, you know. And the great thing about it, they want to learn, so we just keep on piling as much info on them. But we expecting our young guys to come in and help out. You know, I mean, we are. This is a rolling organization deal. I think the cream will really separate itself, but I'm gonna give them the opportunity to show it and earn it. All right, we're not gonna give them anything. Awesome, appreciate, Coach. All right. Last time I talked to you in the spring, I asked you about Jalen, oh, and, yeah. you, and you were smiling, and you said, if we can just get get him in the weight room, get some weight on that oh, yeah. sucker, yeah. he can really take off. No doubt. No so doubt. You were talking uh, about him when it came up. So uh, far, so good. That? He has continued to transition through summer, you know. And uh, really one of the biggest things is him continuing to stay consistent with it, you know. I told him in the spring, at the end of spring in our personal meeting, I'm looking for him to play, you know. And so he's got to continue to bring it. He's learning. He doesn't even realize how to use his body yet, even now. And we're still really showing him how to use his length, how to use his frame and all of those things. We are really excited about what he can bring. In the limited amount of time we were allowed to watch practice this right. morning, I saw Aaron Crawford working with the, with the ones a little bit. Yeah. I think he replaced Tyler for a few snaps. Right. How's he coming along? He's coming along great. You know, he is, like I've told everyone, he has a great attitude towards work. And that's what we told him that he needed. Because when it comes down to it as a freshman, you got so many things you gotta, you really have to um, adjust to when you come to college. And he's done a great job at it from the strength to the academics, and now we're practicing. Um, he's still, he's still learning every day. You know, he's young, but I'm looking to him to keep on progressing because I might need him to play this year. How many guys up front in, the, in that four defensive tackles and ends would you like to be able to know you can go into a game using? In a perfect world, if you had two deep, you're really sitting good with two or three utility guys that know multiple positions. That really has you, um, you know, really being able to transition smoothly. So in a perfect world, eight to 10 guys. Do you believe you're on pace to have that for the South Carolina game, or do you think it's going to take a while? Barring any injury or anything, you know, catastrophic, yes. I asked you in the spring about Jeremiah Clark, and you smiled. Yeah, hey, he's just got to keep on coming. Big, powerful <laughs> kid. Still learning how to play the position with the type of attitude we need, but he's coming along. Though. Justin Thompson is the older guy. Right. How has he handled the changing his defense after playing with some Justin, different reviews? With Justin, it's interesting. I've, I've always had to handle that as if he was a freshman. And when I first got here, um, he just had his shoulder operation. And so he didn't have an opportunity to work hands-on with me, you know. Um, and so right now during camp, he's really trying to kind of learn as much as he can to expedite his progression as well. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it,